Welcome to this week's edition of E! News. With the end of term next week, it is hard to believe that we are already halfway through the year. First of all, I would like to talk about student reports. Many thanks to all our teachers who have been very busy across the college writing a child's report. Importantly, reports will accurately describe student progress in the first half of the year. All reports will be handed out later next week. Anthony Stockwell and I had the opportunity last week to talk to students from years three to year nine with what we call Student Voice. Student Voice provided an opportunity for students to talk to us about a variety of aspects about the college and items that they see as important issues. In simple terms, giving students an opportunity to be heard. We have had fantastic conversations with representatives from classes within each of the year levels. We talked about different curriculum and extracurriculum programs offered to each of the year levels, things that they enjoy as well as some of the challenges that they are currently facing and how we can assist them, both our current students and future students, face these challenges head on. I will highlight some of those conversations and what it means for our college in future e-news. Can I just say, we are so impressed with all the students that we have met with. They were all very open, articulate, and honest with their answers. And we look forward to having more meetings with different class representatives during term three and four. We have a number of exciting opportunities coming up in our college. Following on from the very successful personal best evening, the year nines are now off on their expedition. The students are away for seven days in their wilderness experience, which has certainly been a very uh, exciting time in the planning. There have been a, a lot of buzz around the college from both students and teachers. We wish them well. Fingers crossed that the weather holds up. Over the last few weeks, we've had numerous conversations with a number of key partners of the college, in particular, Melbourne Polytechnic and the Costa Group. The talks we have been having with Melbourne Polytechnic about their applied learning opportunities and the relationships that they want to offer the college have been some of the most exciting conversations I've had in my career in education. The expertise and resources that they can bring to our college will give so many students the opportunities to pathway into their preferred studies. The Costa Group, and in particular the proud partnership we have established with the Mushroom Exchange just down the road, follow on from their very generous cash donation to assist the college fit out of our commercial kitchen. We are looking into offering TAFE courses in subjects like permaculture, horticulture and hospitality, as well as a focus on 21st century robotics and coding. Throughout, their goodwill and their eagerness to develop the partnership has been outstanding. To sum up, the unique opportunities that will present themselves to our students are extremely exciting. From kinder all the way through to year nine and beyond in the years to come, we are all about opportunities and success for our students. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you around the college.